I will guide you today through a few highlights in our upcoming sale on June 28, 29 and 30. And the first lot I want to show you is a beautiful sculpture. This beautiful gilt lacquered, gilt bronze sculpture of Amitaius. Why can we say that it is gilt bronze? Because in the areas where the gilt lacquer is no longer present, we see the raw material, the gilt bronze. And here in the section, on the upper part of the lotus throne, we find two incised characters from the inscription Da Ming Yongle Nian Si. There is a very similar example in the State Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg in Russia. It has all the exact same features and has exactly the same size. This piece uh, comes with an estimate of 20 to 40,000 euros. It is a lot uh, 1038 in our upcoming sale. Another lot in this cell, which has a counterpart in the State Hermitage Museum, is this interesting one of two, one of a pair, they come together, interesting tea caddy, formed by two eagles, which originally had a crowned lid. Here there is a very interesting connotation to European royalty, where the crowned eagles were part of many a royal coat of arms originally from the Byzantine Empire, but visible on coats of arms in Germany, in Austria, and also in Russia, for example. Very functional, practical, and very decorative. Very fine examples of Guangzhou enamel, Canton enamel, as we say in English. They also come with an estimate of 20 to 40,000 euro, and they are lot uh, 888 in the upcoming sale. The next beautiful lot I want to show you is this very attractive Femi Vert Rouleau vase. It dates to the 19th century, but it is based on Kangxi examples, and it is um, based on a series of drawings commissioned by the Kangxi Emperor, with elaborate poems by the Emperor himself, and he commissioned these to document the production and cultivation of rice and silk. Agriculture was very important in the Kangxi period, and the first real Qing Dynasty Emperor after the Shunzi reign and a very difficult period for the Chinese government and for the Chinese in general with a long period of war and here we have a very safe and stable period again but this is basically an attestation of how life got better during these times. Uh, it comes with an estimate of three to six thousand euros this is lot 103 and then the final example in today's video is this beautiful cloisonné vase. It is probably the most excellent piece of work we have in the auction with a very fine, flat, very smooth surface. Very well executed. Actually, it really comes very close to perfection. And that is because it was made in the imperial workshop during the 18th century, during the reign of Emperor Chen Long. We have a very nice turquoise blue ground. We have the butterflies, pumpkins, and this is the kind of piece which was probably stolen from the Summer Palace uh, just before the very important raids came from French and British soldiers by local eunuchs or by workers in the palace. So it has most likely had the original Chen Long mark removed. It comes with an estimate of 15 to 25,000 euros and this is lot 958. I hope to see you during the auction. <laughs>